Today we're going to be looking at finding minimum spanning trees from a matrix. Uh, a minimum spanning tree is a way of connecting a set of nodes in the smallest possible way. In the previous lesson, we were finding minimum spanning trees using Kruskal's algorithm and Prim's algorithm. Today, we will, we will use Prim's algorithm from a matrix. Can you draw for me now the minimum spanning tree from the completed matrix? Can you try and draw the minimum spanning tree? Okay, if you just watch the screen, if you're not sure, here's the, here's the minimum spanning tree. It's just going to be those four edges. The circled numbers are the edges that we've got to draw. So if I look down here, AD, DE, BE, and CE, just draw them from the network, from the original network. First one is AD. Just put, make sure you put the weight in. Very important that the weights go in. AD is five. BE is 3, EC is 1, and ED is 6. That's the minimum spanning tree from the matrix. What do you reckon? Proper what? Easy. Proper easy. Dave? Anybody not sure about any of the steps? Try and refer back to your notes. Refer back to the step-by-step -step instructions in such a way that you understand them. Okay, use your words. I'm going to put a few questions around now. You are allowed to talk. You are allowed to ask. We're trying to be as normal as possible. Okay? Here we go. If you make a mistake, just tell me. We'll sort it. Don't worry about it. Read the question before you start. Read it carefully. If you're not sure, you give me a share, I'll come and help you. For the first one, that's good. Put the one up. Yeah. Look down here, pick 53, put a line through that, that becomes second. You only look down the columns that have numbers above them. Right. So you look down this one and you look down this one, which is the smallest entry out of those two columns. 54. 54. So 54 gets circled, yeah. then that row gets deleted. Oh, right. Okay? Dave? No, I'm confused. Sablet? So you start with it, then you look down here. Well, you look down here. You pick the smallest one, you delete that row. Yeah. So that becomes second. That's the smallest one again. That, no, you started off with that, Dave. Starting at vertex A, that got deleted. What, without even looking at them? Yeah, oh yeah, that's the first step. Step one, delete all the entries in the row containing the starting vertex. OK, yeah. are you sure? Yeah. So that should have been your first step. If you hadn't have made that first step, you were right. But that's gone now. So then you just do, look down here. Look down the only look down the columns. Only look down the columns with numbers at the top. Yeah. So look down that column. Look down this column and pick the smallest one. You can't pick that one because it's been deleted. Okay. So 54. Circle. Delete. 54 is the smallest. Which do you think it is, Dave? I thought looking down number two. You have to look down one and two. 